YouTube, thank you so much for tuning back into Clash Plants TV. You're either here because you're a subscriber and you love my videos, so I thank you for that, or you want to learn how to farm Goldeen Elixir. Either way, I have a great attack here from my clanmate named Yu. This is not me, this is actually my clanmate. His friends actually trolled him. They changed his name to Yu. It's a long story, but anyway, he was farming Golden Elixir using the Barbarians and Archer strategy, but he only brought Archers this time. I'm not sure why. Usually I bring Barbarians and Archers, it's called the Barch strategy, it's the best way to farm Golden Elixir, but either, the, either way this was a great attack, he's attacking obviously an inactive player because he does not have a shield, and he has over 600,000 resources, I believe Yu does not get all of it, but he gets the good majority of it. So pretty much all he's doing is spamming his Archers all around the base to get as much resources as he can, up until this point he has 180,000 gold and 130,000 Elixir. He also drops a couple archers there uh, just to target that um, town hall so he can get the extra trophies and that gold storage right at the bottom there. So he gets over 230,000 gold at this point, oh excuse me, 226,000 and um, he does not get any more collectors which is pretty bad except for the one on top there. I mean you did have a lot more resources that you could have gotten but I do not think you had the maximum troops that you could have had either way it was a great attack and thank you so much for sharing it with me and letting me post it on youtube so let's move on to the second attack this was an attack made by me the resources were all in the collectors and they were kind of separated into two sections on the base there one on the top left side one on the bottom right side so i wasn't sure what i was gonna do i just kind of split my troops into half as I, I targeted, I put half my troops on the top left of the base there just to target those elixirs or those elixir collectors. And I dropped the heal spell right there. And on the bottom side, I kind of dropped less troops, but I also dropped my heroes. So it kind of evened them out, evened them out a little. I also dropped all the, all the spells that I had on the top there because they didn't really have um, meat shields. It was only tier, tier 1 troops. So it wasn't, I mean, it just, just to help them out a little. On the bottom there, there's that Barbarian King and Archer Queen going at, this, at, the, at the Gold Collectors. I use my King's ability so he doesn't lose too much health and he regains some of it. There's a Gold Collector right on the top right side of your screen there. I do not end up getting it, I believe, but it was either, either way, it was a great attack. I get over 360,000 Elixir and over 230,000 Gold. It was a great attack. I still have my Queen's ability. His Inferno Towers were not working, his Expos were not working, he does not have a shield, he was obviously an inactive player. I decided to use my Queen's ability right there just to get her some extra health and I end the attack right there. There's not much more I can do. I also get 4 more trophies which I really, which really helped me out later when I was farming Dark Elixir because obviously the higher, out, the higher up you go, the more Dark Elixir you're going to find. Let's go to our last and final attack for this video this is another inactive player it was an it was an attack done by me again and i used barbarians and archers once again because as i said it's the best way to farm gold and elixir so all the resources were in the collectors again and they were all outside of the base so this was fairly this was a fairly easy attack for me i kind of drop archers all around the base where the defenses couldn't target them so i would keep as many troops as i can I draw some on the on the dark elixir drills on the on the left side of your screen there. On the right side, there's those elixir collectors, and I draw some archers on the town hall to gain a few trophies. I also just spam my barbarians and archers on the top left side of your screen there just to get those gold storage and then collectors. <clears throat> At this point, I have over 200,000 elixir and 130,000 gold. It was going very well so far. I still have a lot of barbarians and archers, and I did not have spells or my barbarian or archer queen. So I decided to drop a lot of my troops on the bottom side there just to kind of go at that queen and get the gold gold um, collectors down there because they did have a lot of gold in them and I did want to upgrade walls. Right now I do have all level 8 walls but in the comments below tell me if I should upgrade defenses like my air defense to level 7 or get my start my walls going to level 9. It's a really tough decision. I'm kind of leaning toward air defense but just tell me what you guys think. I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you are going to say get your wall to level 9, but I just want to see what you guys what you guys want me to do because you guys are, I, I take your opinion into, into matter and I really do respect your opinion. So I'm going to see what you guys want and I really hope you guys appreciated this video, appreciated these attacks. Thank you, you for sending me your attack and letting me share it to YouTube. Once again, give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have an amazing day.